Dr. Ilana Gelman here, naturopathic doctor. Well, Happy New Year. This is actually a really big deal for me because I started these videos a year ago today. And um, this is my 68th video. This is so exciting. And I just looked and I have over um, 15,000 views, almost 16,000. And that's just so neat to me. I just, I really just want to share information and doing the best that I can with it. And so I'm just really excited. So I'm also celebrating and I also wanted to just wish you guys all a happy new year. Um, things come to an end and now we're about to start beginnings and um, I'm really starting to create a lot for 2014 and I wanted to give you a heads up that I'm going to take a little bit of a break in January. So I'm going to recreate these videos and redesign them and I'm just going to take a few weeks in January to revamp them and then I'll be back but I'm really excited to continue these for 2014. Um, so just wanted to reflect on that for the end of the year and also end on the eighth most toxic food. And we already went over all seven and so the first one was canned tomatoes. We went through um, choosing grass-fed beef over conventional beef. We talked about staying away from non-organic potatoes and always choosing organic potatoes. Staying away from farm salmon, always choosing wild salmon. We talked about staying away from microwave popcorn and doing it the old-fashioned way with organic popcorn. Uh, we talked about in their last video non-organic apples and how bad and how highly sprayed they are to always choose organic apples. And today is our last one, our eighth most toxic food is soy. And it's not just regular soy, it's it's con it's a genetically modified soy. And the reason why it's so toxic is because 91% of the soy crop is genetically modified. So it's very hard to stay away from soy that's not been genetically modified. Now, genetically modified is really up for debate, debate whether or not it's healthy or not healthy. The reason why we do genetically modified crops is not for for any type of nutritional modification or enhancement. It's always for an economic reason. Now, there's a lot of genetic mutations. There's a lot of DNA replacement that goes on, which changes the proteins and changes the nutritional component of um, the food. And studies have not yet shown whether there are ill effects on people, which is good news, but they haven't yet found a long enough series of studies that really have proved whether or not they're dangerous or not. Now, in other countries other than the United States, genetically modified organisms are banned. And so there's a reason for that. I'm not sure exactly why that is, but I'm just, I always go back to the rule of thumb is really get food in the whole food state where it's untouched as much as possible and it's organic state so it's not sprayed, it's not modified in any way, and then your your body can then really, really respond well to it. So that is on the list of the top eight foods that are toxic is genetically modified soy, especially because 91% of our soy crops are genetically modified. Now in addition, there's a lot of debate over the isoflavones and the phytoestrogens in soy and that being harmful. There's toxins such as phytic acid that can bind nutrients that can cause soy to be toxic, but that's besides the point why soy could be dangerous. Really why I'm just honing in on this is just because it's a genetically modified organism. Okay, so that wraps up for um, the eighth most toxic food. If you are going to eat soy, the solution is to always buy it organic and to eat it in its fermented form. And that is going to be include, it includes tempeh or miso. Those are the fermented forms of soy. All right, well, that wraps it up for a whole year of 2013 videos. Um, I want you guys to enjoy your um, new year and your break, and I look forward to coming back after a few weeks of taking a little bit of a break myself in January so I can revamp these videos and really just be able to deliver something that is of value and something you guys can really, really take home and um, really help your health and well-being because that's the only reason why I'm doing these videos. So enjoy the last bit of 2013 and happy new year to, to all of you. Bye-bye.